So when you ride a bike over a bump, or drive a car over a pothole, what you feel are damper oscillations. We can model these oscillations with the mass spring damper system. Let's use MathCAD to create that model. We start off with a blank worksheet. I can change things like the grid resolution. I can go ahead and make the narrow, uh, margins narrow so I have more room to work with. And I can also change the orientation so it's landscape. Let's go ahead and give this worksheet a title. I'll keep it simple, just call it Mass Spring Damper. I will also pick an image to insert into this document so you have an idea of what I'm trying to model. Next, I define the equation for the force provided by the spring, which is just negative k times x. Notice that x is dependent on t, which makes the force dependent on t. I can do the same thing for the force provided, on the, uh, provided by the damper. In this case, that's going to be proportional to the velocity, which is uh, dx dt. To get the dx dt uh, symbol, I go over to the math tab and use the calculus operator. I can now operate, uh, take the derivative of x. And then finally, for the uh, sum of forces, which is just equal, uh, equal to f equals ma, I need to take the, um, the second derivative um, of x. So the, those are my equations. Now that I have those equations, I want to go ahead and actually have MathCAD uh, solve this, this ODE, uh, ordinary differential equation. So let's go ahead and apply some, uh, some values to my mass uh, damper and also spring. I will give it a mass of 2, a, uh, a damper of 1, and a spring constant of 3. Next, what I'm going to do is use a solve block. So I'm going to write the same LDE equation, but this time I'm going to use the prime notation. So I get uh, m times x double prime plus b times x prime plus kx. And that's going to be equal to 0. Um, and then I'm going to offset it uh, with an initial value of 1. So I'm going to hold x initially uh, at, at a position of 1 and then let it go and then see how it see how it oscillates. And so to see how it oscillates, I need to use the ODE solve uh, function. To find that, I can go over to the functions uh, search bar and just search for ODE. Uh, that will populate um, uh, my, uh, my the, the solve block with ODE solve. And I, I can just go ahead and uh, put in that I want to solve for x. And I can also say I want you to solve for x all the way up to t equals 20. I'm just going to uh, move some things around so it looks a little bit, a little bit prettier. And now that I have a function uh, that's been solved by the ODE solve function, I can go ahead and plot it. So when I go ahead and add the plot, um, I just need to specify that I'm plotting x, um, which has been solved by the solver. And then I want to plot that versus t. So if you take a look at this, um, and I'm also going to adjust the, the limits so that I'm going to start from time 0 and just uh, look at it until t equals 10. So let me move this plot to a new page so you can take a look at it a little bit closer. And uh, there it is. There's my damped oscillations. Now what I want to do is approach this a little bit differently by using the symbolic engine built into MathCAD. So I'm going to open up a new worksheet and I'm going to set up the same layout as before. And I'm going to copy and paste the picture in the title uh, from the previous worksheet so I can just use it here again. Now because this is an ODE, um, I, I know that I can go ahead and express the solution or x in terms of uh, an exponential. So it's going to be a times e to the rt, where r stands for the root. And uh, I can go ahead and take the, the derivative of this, um, the derivative as you remember just using the, the, um, the derivative operator. And I can actually have MathCAD evaluate this symbolically. Um, that's what the arrow means. Notice how the derivative is, is, is now expressed um, in terms of symbols or variables. I can do the same thing for the second derivative. And now I can apply the whole equation. So uh, m uh, times second derivative of x plus b, uh, b times the first derivative of x plus kx. And I can have uh, MathCAD um, basically evaluate that for me. I can even clean it up by using the factor modifier, and that will actually collect the like terms. Next, I'm going to copy and paste that equation, but this time I'm going to set it equal to 0 and then have MathCAD solve for what the roots are. Now, this is a second order ODE, so I would expect two roots. I can go ahead and save this off as the variable r, and as you can see, r now has two different values. I can substitute in uh, the values in for m, k, and b, and then uh, in this case, if I use 1, 5, and 6, MathCAD will plug it, in to me, uh, plug it into the equation for me and give me the roots of negative 3 and negative 2. Because I have two roots, I need to actually modify my solution for x. So I'm going to have an a0 for the amplitude of the, of the first root, and then an a1 for the amplitude of the second root. And just like before, MathCAD will evaluate those symbolically. 
As before, I need to define two initial conditions. So I can define uh, a x naught or x at time zero, and that's going to be equal to a zero plus a one. My velocity at time zero is going to be obviously the derivative of x evaluated at time uh, at t equals zero. So I use the symbolic evaluation, and then modify use the modifier assume t is equal to zero. Now what I can do is uh, set the x naught and the v naught, the initial position and uh, velocity to some arbitrary value. So let's say I want to set, uh, just like before, I want to set the initial position to a and set the initial velocity to zero. And now what I can do is, given these conditions, solve for what a0 and a1 are. Once I have a0 and a1, I can plug this back into the original equation. So I can uh, redefine uh, what x is uh, fully, in, uh, uh, fully and symbolically. So this equation um, is going to look quite messy. In fact, um, it won't fit all the way on the screen. Um, so maybe what I really care about is uh, just a specific value, right? So what I can do is just uh, just what I showed you earlier is to substitute in some values for the mass, spring, and damper. And then I can also specify the initial um, position. So a have that equal to 1. So I'm going to use the same values as before in my previous ODE solve example, right? So plug in the same values. And just like before, I'm going to go ahead and put in a plot. And I'm going to plot x of t versus uh, t versus time, right? So now if I compare this uh, plot to the original plot, you should notice that they look exactly the same, except this is now all done symbolically. 